so a little bit after Christmas, so I figured I'd go ahead and talk about this one because this is going to be the new Hype Beast. And then I'm going to give it a wearing and give you my honest opinion. So, coffee and whiskey. So, this is supposed to be that one. So, we're going to see because uh, this was a great gift to myself from myself so i'm gonna give it a give it a try and get back with y'all and let y'all know what i think two thousand years later Woo Woo the hype train is real on this one baby this is that uh coffee and whiskey by bath and body works mm. oh my god it's a 2022 release uh for men and this is we gotta get a little whiff of that because it's that good this is a warm and spicy uh avant-garde um uh, gourmand it's a niche quality well the blend uh, co uh, uh coffee and light whiskey blend uh man, this lasts about seven or eight hours it's pretty much just a a a fragrance take on a, a Jamerson's uh, Irish coffee. Oh, me. You get that fresh Arabica bean coffee note, uh, like an iced coffee from like a luxury coffee house. Not not like your Dunkin's or your, uh, you know, I don't even really drink coffee. So it's not like going to Dunkin' or going to uh, one of these other coffee houses uh starbucks or whatever it's not like that it's like you go spend some money on some coffee this one where <laughs> girls walk in with the little poodles and, and shit this that's what this is so whew, i like that man it's that coffee note like an iced coffee it's rich and sweet um it's the um you know it's basic packaging but i do like the rectangular bottle uh this clicks in place so you can't pick it up by the cap mm, you, you smell like it says only two notes it says coffee and whiskey but i'm getting you know vanilla spray it decent sprayer it's not not the best but it's bad for body works so what do you expect but it's decent get that vanilla caramel you smell hazelnut a little bit of tonka Playing in the background, they don't put it in the forefront uh, like a lot of people have started doing. A little bit of cinnamon, uh, amber is kind of giving you that um, that light boozy effect. It's not a heavy boozy effect, a light boozy effect. I don't know what note it is that's making it kind of uh, jump off as whiskey, but the very light boozy effect, not a heavy boozy effect. I think that's what a lot of people want it. But uh, you don't get the heavy boozy effect as you would in some other coffee, uh, coffee or uh, boozy or fragrances. So you know this puts you in the note of like pure Havan meets uh, pure coffee meets pure malt or uh, Maison Margiela uh, coffee break meets jazz club meets uh, by the fireplace or um, stronger with you. Stronger with you meets. 1270 meets rich, warm, addictive. So it, this is urban chic and the hype is real. I am digging this. This is going to be, if you can get, if you can get it, if you can get it, because I, I had to, <laughs> I had to do some stuff to get this for myself for Christmas and boy, and I know some people in the fragrance game and I had to pull some strings to get this one. I talked to every single bath and body works in the dfw era that's dallas arlington fort worth uh wilmer wiley all the surrounding the lothian all the surrounding areas sold out so your boy had to pull some strings to get this one for myself but i managed it so i will tell you go on ebay go on amazon go wherever you gotta go Get this in your fragrance rotation. Even if you don't like it, hold on to it because the price is going to go up because they don't have it anymore. The price is going to go up and you're going to make some money off of this one. But I'm going to keep mine 
I'm gonna be wearing it. I might buy me a second bottle just in case because this is that good. The colder weather. Now, uh, you only gonna get seven, eight hours out of this. This doesn't push further than elbow room after about the third or fourth hour we first spread arm reach. So this is gonna be a date night fragrance. This is gonna be your non-clawing, just like I said about presidential. This is gonna be your non-clawing fragrance so if you're in a crowd or if you're in a restaurant or if you, you're doing your Netflix and chill thing, this is when you want to break this fragrance out. So when you put this on, don't, don't expect to be smelled from three or four feet away. But this will get you the compliments. Trust and believe. People are going to smell it. It is that different. Uh, some people are saying it's unisex, but it's supposed to be a masculine fragrance. To me, it smells masculine. I don't think I would want to smell that on a female. But... Um, this right here is going to get you some compliments. Um, like I say, I just got it today. So I'm going to be wearing it whenever I step out and going to try this one out. This one here works. This one here works. You cannot go wrong with this here in your fragrance rotation. Once the weather and the temperature changes and it gets cooler, this right here, oh my goodness. This right here is gonna have you in the ball game. So like I say, you're only gonna get about seven or eight hours, which that's cool. I mean, I would like for it to be a little stronger. You probably can blend that with something though. Uh, maybe, maybe a molecule will push that one a little bit further. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that that one right there would blend very well with something else and probably make it push a little further. Probably mix it with that pure Havan, and that will probably give it that oomph that it needs. Or the pure malt, or if you look and you have pure coffee, that might even work. I'm not sure. I haven't smelled pure coffee in forever. I don't good luck finding that one. But uh, yeah, this one right here, this is a masterpiece as far as bath and body works go. Very uh, niche like, niche quality fragrance. Uh, get your nose on it. If you have it, Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of it. Or if it was on your wish list and you didn't get it, or if it was on your wish list and you still plan on getting it, leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought about it. But the hype is real. Jump on the hype train if you can. This is T. Harris. I am the quintessential bachelor, and I am out.